Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again. Yeah, uh, another back to back comparison. This time we're going to do uh, Himalayan. Yeah, uh, silver brown one. We're going to do the Himalayan. Then we're going to do uh, Alog Splendiferous Green. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the Scram. Keep in mind, we're going to take the Scram first. Yeah, new kid on the block. Going to do him first. See what he comes out like. Marvellous. So, straight away, dead comfy to sit on. It's marvellous. Mirrors just about right. Two round clocks. If I already turned it on. Quarter of a tank. Uh, probably do about 100 miles or so, I should think. Quite easily on that. Oh. Marvellous. Could do with one of these for just gadding about. Do you know what I mean? Do you use the word gadding? That's a marvellous word. Gadding. Yeah. Gadding about. So, what I'm going to do, usual malarkey, going to uh, go find the Cambridge Road. It's uh, been a miserable grey day, but you'll notice because I've turned up, uh, we've got a little bit of sunlight. Not much. Admittedly, oh, but this is so sweet. And uh, trip B, 326 miles. Don't know how many miles it's done all together. Um, but it's marvellous, isn't it? So, um, what sort of bike is this? This is a fun bike. This is bit of ragging off road maybe dirt tracks and the like um, commuting cheap lightweight throw over stuff for carrying things um, so well balanced like all of them and it's of course it's got it's got that Royal Enfield um, uh, little buzz about it that makes you feel part of it it's that you know it's like going for a ride with a mate that's what that's what riding one of these is like and it's so easy um, because I don't know what the running in procedure is come at 50 miles an hour and it's there very easily um, at, then we're in fifth we've got a gear indicator marvelous yeah um, Obviously naked, a little bit of wind there, but um, we'll see how it compares to the Himalayan. Yeah. What's this fan doing? I mean, it just turns in. It feels really short wheelbase and really nippy. Um, and uh, yeah I love this colour the red and white it's youthful isn't it it's um, that's what it is this is youthful this bike um, I'd be amazed if young kids don't get into it that's what I'm thinking look at the way that lorry goes around those corners <laughs> it nearly falls over it's got a load of concrete or something on the back It's unusual for me to be on this road when there's other vehicles on it. I'm not quite used to that, but there you go. That's life. Can't do anything about it. But this is a doddle to ride. Yeah, absolute doddle. Mirrors, Mickey Mouse mirrors. Easy to see out of. This one's not quite set up right for me, so I'll adjust that shortly. Um, We've got a fair amount of wind today. Psh, doesn't bother it. Yeah, don't bother it at all. Um, it is begging you to get into town and to, 
do donuts and all sorts of things, isn't it? It's that, it's that cross between that and just turning off and going across that field. I'd quite like to do that with it. You know, I, I said before, I like this red and white. A lot of people don't. They prefer the black one. I don't understand that. Um, I've always been a black person. Oh, just the way it goes around that corner, sorry. Anyway, but um, this red and white, I don't know. I like it. I like it. It adds to the character of the bike. And the bike has got character. Yes, it's a modern looking bike. Um, and you associate modern bikes with being devoid of character. Um, well, this isn't. It's got stacks of it. You can feel that little single cylinder. Little. It's 410 cc's. Kind of pumping up and down. Um, it's uh, it's marvellous. Um, suspension's great. It's comfy to sit on. I mean, I'm six foot two. Um, and, well, six foot two is not, mm, you know, ridiculously massive. Uh, I'm quite... A, <laughs> I'm quite a gangly sort of person um, but I feel dead comfy on it um, but I reckon you know someone an awful lot shorter than me oh he's gonna wait for that car he should have gone oh, it's a Skoda that's why I should have known but yeah if you if you look down my legs easily bent flat footed Um, the other thing is, when I did the back-to-back -back with the Interceptor and the Continental, um, I was criticised for not uh, presenting them both to the sorting cone. Yeah, for uh, uh, some input by, by, by the sorting cone. So, we'll do that. If I can remember where the road is, <laughs> yeah, marvellous. I'm sort of distracted by this Nana in the Skoda, wondering what he's going to do. Oh, look at that. A 125 Yamaha. So here we are, onto the bumpy lanes, which I'm hoping this is where it's at home. Yeah, if I remember. This is where it belongs. Oh look, they've just harvested that field. I wonder if they'd let me go across it. Oh, best not, Jack might not like it. Oh, well, I could have done that. But yeah, deals with these, perfect. This is where it, it would be really at home. Oh. Some fuel lights come on, all right. Fuel gauge must have been lying to me. It must have been right at the bottom of that second, uh, second bar and now it's gone on to the bottom bar but look it's got a fuel light and that flashes so you've no reason to run out of fuel unless you're me and you just take a bike out and go without checking the fuel properly yeah but yeah this goes just so well I mean this this road you've got to ride it to understand it camber's terrible, it's bumpy as hell, and this just rides it, perfect, levels it all out. Skip still there, marvellous. And uh, I believe the sorting cone is just round this corner. So, we'll have a look. Here we go, sorting cone. Let's present it to the sorting cone. There, it's still there, marvellous. So let's have a look. There we go. Ignition off. Let's see. 
what we got red and white searching comb what do you reckon red and white scram 411 Himalayan strip back uh, for fun yeah the Himalayan with its patty frock on yeah it's quite tasty isn't it I think so anyway but anyway we've presented it little badge there look marvellous Royal Enfield this cone it's just splendiferous single disc at the front single disc at the back you don't need to know more than that do you it's got a chain yeah because it's got a chain um, there we go and then we're off quick as that that's all the sorting cone needs one little glance like that and that engine sounds marvellous yeah splendiferous that's what this little baby is cat Maddenley, I'm not going into Maddenley, I've got no petrol. Yeah. Balance on it, you can almost stand still on it. I bet you could, which actually is probably quite handy if you go off road and you've got logs and stuff like that, isn't it? That's what you want. You want to be able to get off road a little bit. Marvellous. I don't know what the top speed of this would be um, but it's very very comfy uh, this sort of 50-55 and I don't I don't know um, what the running in procedure is on it so I don't know how much I can take it but it's had its first service I know that um, I know that Jack's been running it in most of the time, so it's been well looked after, and I, it shows, it's smooth, it's smooth, gearbox is easy, all the controls where you want them, brakes, ample, um, what more can I say, yeah, how does it make me feel? Uh, bloody marvellous is how it makes me feel yeah um, would I like one I would like one yeah I, re I really would um, this is the modern day Bertie I said that right at the beginning that's what this is it's the modern day Bertie oh it's just it's just a delight to ride it really is but I've yet to ride a, a Royal Enfield that isn't, to be honest. I mean, most motorbikes make me smile, but the Royal Enfields, I don't know, they just... It's like... A part of me is Royal Enfield. I don't know, maybe that's it. This is fun. This bike could be real fun. It is absolutely splendiferous absolutely yeah um, I don't know where that sits in a grading absolutely splendiferous is it fan fantabulous I I guess it, it, it is it's uh, sort of between isn't it I do need to sort the scoring system out um, but this is just so well balanced just so easy light nimble um, yeah I just can't oh, I, I, I feel like a very lucky boy riding this I do yeah no wonder Jack's always happy and running around busy as anything he's been riding this yeah it'd, it'd do it for anybody wouldn't it and I tell you what, seats, dead comfy. Um, dead comfy. So I'm trying to remember all these things. Don't you ride straight across. My light says green. Thank you. 
marvellous cyclist through the world in Cambridge just so as you know if you ever wander over here that is just absolutely a marvellous marvellous bike yeah it's absolutely splendiferous so there we go there's the uh, the scram um, I'm going to put it back there I'm going to put it back there so that when I come back with the Himalayan we can have a look at it yeah marvellous Let's just pop it there for now. God, oh, little engine, how it smells divine as well. Yeah. So there we go. That's uh, the Scram 411 Himalayan. Yeah, splendiferous, isn't it? What more can I say? Well, we'll see how it stacks up to its older brother yeah right here we go uh himalayan now yeah uh big brother of the scram older brother not bigger brother they're exactly the same let's see <laughs> more clocks because it's got more clocks it's the older brother yeah older brothers are like that kko i don't know what that means still i still haven't asked but let's see, let's see how we go. Oh, this. Um, I know they're the same engine, but this actually sounds like an older brother. It sounds a bit, bit slow to you. This has got all the rack on and everything, of course. Um, so, exactly the same procedure. Um, while we're waiting for the traffic, um, we'll do Mickey Mouse mirrors. Marvellous little screen don't do anything don't make no never mind to me as i recall but we'll see and off we go like just like that so easy so well balanced to move about yeah marvelous i get my visor shut um make sure the camera's up high enough yeah um and again this has been serviced so it's partly running so again no no no, tr no trouble with it um, from that point of view obviously it's got these bars here they're obviously very different um, very handy if you want to carry stuff you can strap all sorts of stuff on there uh, Ainsworth would probably put an AA badge or something like that um, I don't know I'm just uh, guessing at that um, but yeah tough little bike obviously they've been making it quite a number of years now I don't know about six years something like that gear indicator fuel gauge compass tripper um, trip and all that all the stuff that you that you need um, and like I say, that screen doesn't do a lot. It doesn't do a lot. It must be doing something, but it doesn't do a lot. But that's okay. Doesn't matter. It shields the clocks. It might keep a bit of rain off. So, we got to need to get past this lorry, because I'm, I'm sorry. What's the chances on the most empty road in the country that I get stuck behind two lorries? It's unbelievable ridiculous there'll be letters sent about this um, but there you go um, we'll see we'll see what happens um, it's very windy today I oh, so, seems to get, always get windy when I come over here now I get the sunshine I don't get the rain but um, we'll 
see what happens. Here we go. Take it nice and steady. So, um, they're the same engine, but this does feel more um, grown up. It does. It does. It feels more grown up. We're doing 55. We're doing about that on the other, maybe 50. It does it very easily, and I bet it'd do this all day. I'm not going to go much faster because I don't know what the running in procedure is. I said that already, I know, but I do need to repeat myself because they say, say something three times and then people will have heard it. Yeah, so there we go. Um, there is a bit of turbulence off this, which might make it a bit noisy. I don't know what you can hear uh, till, I, till I do the video back, but it, handling is just fine. Um, uh, it's fairly comfortable. I think the Scram is more comfortable. I do. I don't know why. That seat is different, isn't it? So it's got a slightly different seat. We'll see. Just goes around the corner. No trouble at all. It's got a bigger front wheel, I think. I think. Uh, that must change the geometry a, a little bit for the from the handling point of view. Um, make it a bit easier for you, a, a bit more forgiving, but also a little bit lazy. Yeah, brakes ample again. Yeah, if something doesn't need something, there's no point giving it something, is there? Now. That'll sound like a load of gobbledygook to someone, but they could have put twin discs and Bybury brakes on this, couldn't they? Not Bybury, uh, Br uh, Brembo brakes. They could have done that, they could have done that, but it doesn't need it. And that's what I mean. No point in giving it something it didn't need. That's the thing. Um, they've given this what it needs. Yeah, it's got brakes that'll stop it. Yeah, and that's what they do. Marvellous. Yeah. And of course, this is designed for the dirt tracks, the bumpy roads as well. So similar, which is just as well because they're very similar bikes. Um, and as I'm going round, I'm trying to think, which would I have? If I had to choose between one or the other, which would it be? Um, and it, do you know, I tell you what, it's a close thing. It really is. Because initially, I wasn't that sure about the Himalayan, but each time I ride it, um, it grows on me. But the scram as well it's the same the scram goes on me each time i ride it and oh today it was so smooth and slick um and soaked up these bounces um oh i can't tell i'm trying to measure my smile that's what i'm trying to think um let's just hope that the sorting cone can come up with something. Yeah, that'd be marvellous, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe. I mean, these bumps and these roads, it's designed for this. It goes down here all day long. All day long. Just keep riding miles and miles. Yeah, marvellous. Mickey Mouse mirrors, clocks. Wine. What more can you say? We'll uh, just have to rely on the the cone to bring me some inspiration. Had a cab behind me. Couldn't keep up. Marvelous. Right. Let's have a look then.
Let's have a look. The indicator off, engine off. Flip this that down. Make sure it's over. And uh, let's have a look at it. Yeah, centre stand the lot. It's got everything: brakes, crash bars. This one's got rack on. You obviously have to buy rack separate and boxes, and that's what I would do if I had one. I'd have it like that. Yeah. Um, though, if you wanted to carry stuff, you get stuff to go on the front here. Marvellous. The exhaust. It's dis all discoloured. That's, that's, it's supposed to be like that. That's what it's like. Spoke wheels. Sump guard. Big single, uh, single cylinder. 410 cc's. 411 cc's. Whatever it is. ABS, obviously. Um, Mickey Mouse mirrors. Nice round headlamp. Uh Collagen, obviously not LED. So I don't know what that little light underneath is. That might be LED, is it? Looks like it could be. I don't know. Um, I'd have to ask, or you can ask. Yeah, marvellous. Um, yeah, brilliant. And of course, the sorting cone. Um, let's just have a look at the picture of it in its natural habitat. See what it looks like. Yeah, splendiferous. Um, that's what's coming to mind. Uh, let's finish the ride. Got the boring bit, the bit, the bit where it goes back. Yeah. Uh, oh, listen to it. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh, that cat's there again. Comes out to have a look every time he hears a Royal Enfield. Look at it go. Whoa. Oh, what sort of cat's that then? Oh, pussy cat! Oh, he looks angry at me. <laughs> Marvellous. There we go, Maddenley, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Uh, visors up. There we go. We're not going into Maddenley though. Not today. I'm saving that. I'm saving that for when I do the meteor and the um, and the classic 350. Yeah, because we've got to do those back to back as well, haven't we? Just to round it up. Yeah, it is uh, very stable um, and yeah, uh, it's so easy up to 60 miles an hour, that's all you want isn't it? Unless you're going on the motorway and even if you go on the motorway you can do 60 and I reckon it would do it all day long. Yeah, marvellous. Um, so as a comparison, oh, which do I prefer? Well, I don't think the sorting cone has done its job. Um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I really am. Um, what's this van doing? I don't know, it's just sort of sat there. Um, oh, no pull out, so I can't see. Charming. Yeah, so I'm a bit stuck because they both have that Royal Enfield magic that gives you a little bit of um, contentment inside. The, there's a little bit of glue that binds you. I don't know um, what was that book? Um, there was a book where all the children had like little um, little creatures that were their inner soul or something like that. Um, 
Royal Enfield do that. They connect you, they bind you. When you, when you sign to buy a Royal Enfield, it's like selling your soul. You do, you just tick it and it, you become one with it. Yeah, marvellous. Um, so, I think, I've got Bickle. I, th I, I think I'd go scrap. I do, I think, I think that's where I'd go. I, I've got this image of me riding that scram with um, steady on him, eh? You see, he's just going. He's off now. Um, I've got images of me riding that scram with throw over panniers, nipping down the shop, getting a loaf of bread for some toast. I do like toast with lashings of butter. Love toast, fresh toast, hot, um, with a nice cup of tea. Love it, marvellous. Um, later in the day, maybe a tea cake. So maybe get some tea cake, throw them in the pannier, skedaddle back home. <laughs> marvellous. Maybe go out for uh, to a calf in an afternoon on it. Yeah, marvellous. Find the bacon butter. Um, whereas the Himalayan, I think I'd be um, looking for a tent site, somewhere to put my stove up. And we know how difficult that can be sometimes. Um, so, yeah, so that's where my head is at. I'm thinking splendiferous for the Himalayan and uh, splendiferous for for the scram uh, and I think it'd be this the scram with an option to buy the Himalayan I think that's the only way you can do it So let's have a look. So, there's your scram. Marvellous. Splendiferous. Even moving towards fantabulous, I think. Whereas the Himalayan here, its older brother, looks more mature, doesn't it? Looks a little bit tougher. But that looks quite tough as well. But oh, I don't know. It's close. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm going scram. I think I am. But I, I wouldn't be sure until I signed on the on the dotted line. I don't think. So there you go. Marvelous. And then of course there's the splendiferous green there. I know. Marvelous. And Paddington over there. I mean, where do you begin? Where do you begin? <laughs> 